Tyler Davis and I were making a new film about the giant black drum of Cedar Key. All of the go-to flies for North Florida black drum like black clousers and purple black toads were not getting the bite. They also kept getting stuck repeatedly in the oyster beds that the fish were tailing in. I came up with a tauntaun to specifically be thrown into the oyster beds and sink quickly to feeding fish on the move. This fly has an unorthodox bend at the eye to help prevent sticking into oysters and is a mix of a fleeing crab and bait fish. Start by bending the eye of the hook slightly downward with a pair of pliers. After that we will attach the eyes right at the newly formed bend. Make sure to X-wrap tight onto the hook. Then take the thread and wrap it down to the base of the bend. Now we'll tie in a small piece of green raccoon fur to the base of the hook. This will work as the tail of the bait fish or the feelers and mouth of the crab. The next step is to tie in one natural hackle on each side of the hook shank. Leave about two inches of hackle sticking off the back of the hook. Moving on to the EP crab claws, we will tie them onto the shank of the hook. I like to make a couple of wraps around the back of them to help them stand up as they are being pulled through the water. For the next step, I tie in epoxy mono crab eyes. Any color of choice is up to you. I decided to make some red ones for this fly. I tie them onto the sides of the shank of the hook and angle them upward so they're sticking out as the fly rides through the water. After attaching them, I like to wrap forward to the weighted eyes of the hook to make sure that the epoxy eyes are locked down. Now I rotate the hook in the vise to make the process of adding the EP brush easier. We start by tying in the end of the EP crustaceous brush and tie it right into where the material ends on the shank. Wrap forward and make each wrap as close as possible to the previous wrap. Also pick out any fiber that's been stuck underneath the previous wrap. A bobbin can be a great tool to help with this process. Stop when you get to the weighted eyes and then lock the brush down with a couple of wraps. Now you will cut off the excess brush, wrap the thread to the eye of the hook to get it out of the way and make it easier to work. I like to take a comb or a small brush and prepare the material before trimming. Now take a pair of scissors and trim a flat section on the top and bottom part of the fly body. Be careful not to cut off anything extra like the EP crab legs. Next we turn the fly in the vise and cut an angle starting closest to the eye and increasing towards the bend of the hook. Take a piece of 50 pound fluorocarbon and fold it over the hook right in the front of the eyes with the tag end sticking up. Make some wraps and pull the fluorocarbon onto the hook and lock it down with multiple wraps in front and behind the fluorocarbon. Trim the fluorocarbon above the hook point. Now you can whip finish and cut the thread. You can add some head cement over the eyes and thread but I prefer to keep my flies as natural as possible. There you go, the Tauntaun. You can follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Spooled Reels to see what projects we are working on. Also, check out our large catalog of films at SpooledReels.com.